A call for help ended with a deadly shooting involving police. Officers say they were forced to open fire on a man armed with a knife on Roosevelt Island. CBS 2's Christina Fan reports. A domestic disturbance call led to this massive police response at a Roosevelt Island apartment complex. Officers responding to multiple calls of a man threatening family members with a knife ended up firing and killing the 21 year old. The noise, the noise is, it was horrendous. Are you kidding me? Um, it was so many um, ambulances and police cars and the fire department. It was a lot. The caller, a relative, said the suspect was off his medication and under the influence of marijuana. Four officers responded to 540 Main Street around 1130 Friday night and oh, hey. split up once inside. While three got into an elevator, the fourth kept the lobby door open waiting for backup. Police say that's when the suspect suddenly emerged from a second elevator and charged towards the officer at the door, swinging this knife. That officer retreated outside of the lobby, and then the suspect then charged towards the elevator occupied by our officers, still armed with the knife. The officers inside the elevator attempted to deploy a taser and also discharged their firearm, striking the suspect. Police say they tried administering first aid, but the suspect died an hour later at the hospital. To neighbors, these calls for help end in tragedy far too often. I really feel sad. It's a very young person and could be helped. You know, how many times have you heard that? Where they have called the police because they had a mental health case in the house and they come out and they, they, these people lose their, their child. Or they love one. It's not the first time. No one else was injured during the shooting, and the incident remains under investigation by the NYPD's Force Investigation Unit. Reporting from Roosevelt Island, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News.